Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about the new units that are going to be coming out on the global side of Dokkan. Now I know if you guys have been following me, this is really going to be just a repeat of what I did about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. Uh, so there's really nothing new here for you unless you're just interested in wanting to watch the video. Uh, so we have all the new units. Shout out to dbz.space and Renzi and shout out to the wiki where I'm getting the layouts for all the cards. So um, let's go ahead and talk about it. We have a whole bunch of new cards that are coming in two more days. That's right, guys. These are coming in two, well, actually two and a half more days. Um, it's going to be at night, 11 p.m. Pacific time on 514 or Sunday night, Monday morning, depending on where you live. Uh, so I'm excited, actually, because I really like all these cards, and I have a whole bunch of Elder Kai's for some of them. Um, so, And we actually have some free-to-play cards as well, so uh, we're going to talk about all of that. Anyway, uh, so as you see over here, we're getting the new Android 18. We already have her Android 17 counterpart on Global. The Strength Super Saiyan Blue Goku gets a Dokken Awakening. He finally gets his Dokken Awakening. He is still a good unit. Uh, he's still only an A-tier unit, in my opinion, uh, but he gets a Dokken Awakening, and he's not a horrible unit. Khalifla gets a card, so she's farmable, so if those of you who did not increase her super attack, like me, I did not increase her super attack because I didn't think she was she warranted that kind of damage output because she wasn't that great, in my opinion, for damage. Uh, she does get a farmable super attack now, and it's kind of easier to get, so um, we can now farm that up to super attack 10. I definitely will be farming her up to super attack 10. Uh, Michael uh, already is super attack 10 because she does immense damage, so she does not get a farmable unit, though, uh, but she does get a Dokken Awakening as well. Khalifla, or Kefla, I'm sorry, Kefla finally gets her token Awakening. She becomes a 150 lead um, for Patara category, so she's going to be awesome. I do have her and one Dupath Path unlocked. Uh, I just need to keep on getting those damn potential orbs. I'm, like, so tempted to go into the peel-off shop and I'm buying them just because I want to get that finished with, but I'm not going to do that. But um, I do have her bottom right Dupath Path unlocked, and I'm slowly working on that. Uh, we're finally getting the Jiren, as we had. I'm pretty sure we discussed that. I'm super excited about that. I have him on the JP side. For me, that event, trying to grind out that event on the JP side is so difficult because I don't have the greatest teams. I only have the 120 teams. And trying to beat that with the 120 team is almost impossible. It's not impossible, but it is hard. I spent like 15 minutes on one match, and I wasn't doing that 11 times, you know, 15 minutes per match. Uh, maybe I will at some point when I am when I got some, like, downtime, but not now. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. So Kaba, his free-to-play unit, finally gets a Dokken Awakening. He becomes really good free-to-play unit. Uh, Ultra Instant Goku finally gets a Dokken Awakening, and he has transformation mechanic. The two Super Saiyan Gods, God Kus, those two cards get Dokken Awakenings. Personally, I like the Strength one better. Um, the Strength one and the Intelligence one both link better because they share that first Awakened Link skill. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, so they they have better links. They give each other more damage output. But the Agility one, by far, is not bad at all. Uh, they all link very well. I forgot. I think that the Strength one doesn't go onto one of the teams. Uh, that the agility one does. I think the agility goes onto the um, universe survival team, and the strength one is only uh, gods, uh, the, the godly power team. But anyway, uh, the Khalifla that we were talking about before, her free to play farmable unit is here. The base form Khalifla here, you want to get over to super attack 10, uh, Dokken Awaken her, and you want to get nine more of her, and then, in then Dokken Awaken them into the strength one. Uh, Z Awaken the strength one and feed them into your Khalifas if you want to get her up to Super Attack 10. You're going to need 9 for that, and then 5 if you want to do all 4 Dupaz. This one, by far, the uh, free-to-play one, is not bad for Universe Survival Team. If you're running a, a Universe Survival Saga team, she she does she's just a little bit shy of the Agility one, in my opinion. The Agility one is just a little bit better than her, but she is still a very good unit. Uh, you have Kale over here. She will uh, She's a free-to-play unit. She will Doken Awaken to Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Uh, fortunately for us... She's not farmable, so you, you don't need to, well, I don't know if it's, you could definitely say farmable or uh, lucky for us, but she doesn't have to worry about that grind. You just need to get one of these base forms of the Super Attack 10 and then four Dupes unlocked if you want to do that to Dokken Awaken her. Uh, she is a support unit, so she will not need to do any attack damage, so you don't really need to worry about her, um, you know, doing damage output. You don't even need to really get her Super Attack 10, I just do it because she gets that additional attack output, and why the hell not? Uh, so that's just really an overview of everything we're going to talk about real quick. I'm going to go over all the cards in depth right now. Uh, I'm not going to go over their stats because I think I've already done that. Uh, just to keep the video a little bit shorter, I'm already five minutes in. And as you see here, we have a whole bunch of cards that we need to talk about. I think the only one I didn't actually open up was Jiren, which we will do at the end. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, Android 18. She is here. She has a leader ability, tech type key, plus two HP attack and defense, plus 50%. Super attack, destructive disc, supreme damage, raises defense by 30% for six turns. Passive, attack and defense plus 50%, changes physical to key orbs to tech key orbs, additional attack plus 
for a rainbow key orb of Tane. So she's not that bad of a unit. Uh, I did a review of her and the Android 17, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, you know, we're going to skip blink skills and stats, and we're just going to talk maybe about some categories uh, on certain units. Uh, so anyway, um, she's not bad. She's a good key orb manipulator. She does some damage, and she will Doken Wake it at some point. Uh, don't increase Elder Kai's on her or the Android 17. I don't really know that many of you who would, but she will have a finally a free-to-play farmable unit. Um, it's this agility one over here. The event is not available yet. It's gonna, it should be available at some point. Uh, but it's JP only as of right now. But the Android 17 and Android 18s will have a free-to-play unit that you can grind the SSR. Uh, she's an agility unit. I don't really recommend increasing or oh, Z-Awakening her for the 100% chance unless you really, really want to have her. I would just keep on grinding it out. It's paying the butt to do it. But you can do that for her and the Android 17. Uh, this is the Android 17 I'm talking about. I mean, you can do it to any Android 17, but those are the two specific to the Universe Survival Saga. Uh, they're both really good units, honestly. They really are. Um, this is the event that will be coming out where you can increase their super attacks. They also do awaken from this event. Uh, Universe Survival Saga Tournament of Power, the epic finale. So when we get that, that's when you can do it. Uh, Android 18 will be from Stage 1, and Android 17 will be from Stage 6. And you can get those medals from um, from here as well. But uh, anyway, we're not really talking about that. Kaba gets a Doken Awakening. This is his Doken Awakening Pride. Well, this is his SSR variant. He Doken Awakens with 10 medals from the event that's coming out. That's uh, this, well, this event right over here. Kaba is going to be available from level 6. Saying Oath, that's his Doken Awakening medal. That's, he's going to be able to get to Doken Awakening him. His new leader ability is Tech Type Key plus 2. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 30%. So not that bad for a Tech Leader. Um, supreme Damage to the Enemy. Attack plus 80% when performing a Super Attack. Chance to perform a critical hit up to 7%, up to 49% per Universe Survival Saga category ally on the team. So, what does that mean? Uh, not really that much if you're going up against an LR Frieza event or something like that, just because he is not going to be able to get those crits off. But attack plus 80% is not horrible. Um, and, but having that when you're running a Universe Survival Saga team, if you don't have good units on it, um, and you throw a Kaba in there for a placement, that means he's going to be critting a lot. And that's a built-in credit on his passive, so that doesn't include the crits that you give him if you increase the, um, if you give him dupe system. I'm not going to tell you to do that, but you can. He runs also on a pure Saiyan team and a Universe Survival Saga team, so for a free-to-play unit, he's actually pretty damn good. Finally getting a really good unit for free-to-play. Well, I don't I shouldn't say finally, but he is a really good unit for free-to-play. You don't get that many of them. Um, anyway, the also have from this event, this is one that should be coming out with, uh, along with, um, the, with all these new cards. Universe Survival Saga Tournament of Power Commencement, this is the beginning of it. Um, this is where you can, your base uh, Khaliflas are going to be available on level 2, the Berserker Awakens. You're going to be doing a lot of grinding on this stage. Kale is going to be level, available on level 3, so you're going to get her base form there. Definitely get her Super Attack 10. She's definitely going to be a good support unit for Universe Survival Saga. Uh, their medals are available on stage 7. Unfortunately, it's one of those, one of those, where you're going to either get a Kale or a Khalifla medal, so that grind is going to suck. That is going to suck so much. If you're trying to get Khalifa up to Super Attack 10, I, oh god, I cannot, I, I don't want to look into, I don't want to look forward to that. But, you know what, it's there, at least you can get Khalifa and Kel up to uh, Doken Awakening into their Super Saiyan 2 forms. I'll be focusing on the Super Attack 10 Doken Awakenings before I uh, focus on Khalifa getting her Super Attack 10. Um, anyway, you get a whole bunch of medals as well over here, you only require 5 to Doken Awaken them. Um, you also have to remember, take into consideration though, um... That if you are going to be doing this grind fest over here, you should probably wait until you get at least Kale. Because if you are going to be running a universe survival team, she's going to be a staple on that team, which I've done in a team building guide already. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, that's going to be for the actual event that's going to be coming out. Uh, Khalifla is here. I'm not going to really talk about her too much. This is her base form. Um, nothing really special about her except attack plus 15%. Up to 45% and chance of evading enemies attack up to 10%, up to 30% for every universe survival category ally team member. Uh, when she finally Doken Awakens, she actually does become good. Battle Lust, Super Saiyan 2, Khalifa. Strength type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Supreme damage, raises defense by 30% for one turn, so she will tank a little bit better. Uh, I would not have her in the first slot because of that. Um, passive skill attack plus 20% up to 80%, and a chance to evade enemies attack up to 60% um, for every universe survival category ally on the team. So, um, she does become really damn good, uh, 80% attack buff and a 60% dodge rate, uh, when you have Universe Survival Saga team, so I would still probably run the agility one, uh, just because the agility one, in my opinion, is still a little bit better, her stats a little bit better, her link skills are a little bit better, um, and, um, I think she's just overall a little bit better, but the, the strength one is still really good, so, uh, you can, you can run her over the agility one if you really want to. Uh, she's part of Universe Survival Saga Peppy Gals and Pure Saiyans. So for those of you looking for Peppy Gal warriors to run so that way you get increased drops, she can fit on that team. Uh, that's free to play, so that's awesome. And she does increase the super attack of the agility 
uh, Khalifla. Now, do not Doken Awaken this agility Khalifla until you increase her super attack. Highly recommend don't do that. Um, unfortunately, you also need 10 of her own medals huh, to Doken Awaken her. So you're going to need to get an additional 10 medals from uh, from this event, from that specific stage where you get Kale or Khalifla medals to drop. Oh my god, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, she does Doken Awaken. She becomes really awesome. All types key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70%. So she becomes a really good all-around leader. Um, especially for the stupid events where you're running, like, uh, Peppy Gals, or when you're running, like, um, Universe Survival Saga Team, if you don't have a Jiren when you, when he comes out. Uh, she does Supreme Damage, raises defense by 30% for 3 turns, so her Super Attack is better. She does Attack plus 90% with a high chance to evade enemies' attack, including Super Attacks, or medium chance to evade Supers and Countering. So, she retains all of her basic stuff, uh, but she gets a 90% attack buff, which is awesome. She gains Shattering the Limit, um, and she's part of Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, and Pure Saiyans. Overall, she's a really good, awesome unit. Definitely, again, recommend uh, if you want to do that grind, if you have her, definitely get her for Super Attack 10 if you haven't done so already with her free-to-play unit. Um, the next one is going to be the Kale. We're not going to really go over her base form. She's here, get her for Super Attack 10, Doken Awaken her into this beast. She requires five metals to Doken Awaken. When you Doken Awaken her, she becomes well-honed body and mind Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Leader ability is Intelligence Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%, Supreme Damage and Lowers Defense. Uh, Universe Survival Saga Category Allies, Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 30%. This is why I was saying she's a staple in that team, because she is an awesome support unit. Her link skills are Super Saiyan Battle, Field Diva, Rival Duo, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, and Prepared for Battle. Um, and Categories Universe Survival Saga, Peppy Gals, and Pure Saiyans. I shouldn't have gone over the link skills because it kind of threw off the whole flow of the video. Uh, but yeah, so she's really awesome unit. <laughs> she is really good. I really like her. Definitely get up to Super Attack 10 at least. I mean, you're not going to really do anything with her anyway. Because uh, giving her additionals doesn't really make sense because it's just lowering her defense. Um, and I mean, the only thing I can see because she's an intelligence unit. If you want to give her dupe system, just give her full dodge because she's not really doing that much damage. She's just a support unit. Uh, so go ahead and give her full dodge if you really want to. That would probably become... That would be really useful since she's not doing damage. You don't want her taking damage. And with the built-in dodge with an intelligence unit, you're good. Next one is going to be the Doken version of Kel. Uh, she actually... See, she can't Doken Waken or feed into herself because this is Super Saiyan 2 Kel. Uh, her other form is uh, Kel Berserk. She requires 10 of her own medals as well, so that's why it's also going to be part of a, a, a grind fest. Just to get them the, the two free-to-play ones, the Super Attack 10, Doken Awaken them, that's 5 medals apiece, and then 10 medals to get these guys Doken Awaken. Yeah. Um, she Doken Awakens, finally, Physical Type, Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%, so she becomes a really good uh, physical leader. I mean, the Key plus 2 kind of sucks, but she's getting that really nice 90% attack buff. I didn't really expect that when it first came around on the JP side. Uh, immense damage, lowers defense. Her passive skill, attack plus 120%, launches an additional attack, great chance to become a super. Universe Survival, Saga Category, and Pure Saiyan. She's a very good unit. I already used her, I already have her up to Super Deck 10. I think I have a couple dupes with her, and I fed some dupe system into her because of that. So, she is a really awesome unit, guys. Highly recommend getting her Doken Awakened. And you can run her on the same exact team as this Kel, because they are different titles, so they will link, well, they'll link decently together. Um, she does link well with Broly as well, by the way. I'm running a uh, Universe Survival Saga team right now to grind out the Ultra Instinct Gokus and the medals. Uh, and I have her and LR Broly usually next to each other. If that comes around, if they come around on the same rotation, they link very well. Uh, the next two are going to be the two Godoku cards. Finally get Doken Awakenings. Uh, agility 1 is all types. Key plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 40%. Raises attack. Supreme damage. Passive skill. Attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. Um, godly power. Shocking speed. Super Saiyan. Over and a flash. Kamehameha. Warrior Gods and Fierce Battle. Category Realm of Gods, Universe Survival Saga, and Pure Saiyans. Yeah, so he's part of Universe Survival Saga, so on that team he will link very well to Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, he's awesome unit, really good. The strength one's pretty much almost a spinning image of him, except he has the first Awakened. Uh, all types, key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 40. Supreme damage, raises attack and defense by 30% for 3 turns. He doesn't have that on his passive, um, the agility one. The attack, the defense plus 80% when performing a super attack, standard. Uh, link skills, godly power, shocking speed, super saiyan, over and a flash, warrior gods, first awakened, and fierce battle. See, he is not part of universe survival saga, which really sucks. But he is part of realm of gods and pure saiyans. So he links with ultra instinct Goku, um, at least within the realm of gods category. And I guess pure saiyans too, because now they have pure saiyans. So those who are definitely going to be linking... Um, it's really up to you on what you want to do. Um, I, they're both really good units. I, if you're going to focus, like, I never grinded out the physical god coup cards to increase any of these guys' super attacks, but I always have said in all of my videos that strength one should be your primary focus, and I still haven't done that. I have a whole bunch of white-hot face-off Goku's. I just never want to grind out those Beerus medals, man. I'm telling you, like, it, it was such a pain in the butt. I never wanted to do it. I never did it. Uh, whenever that event came out, I just was like, I can't do this. This is so boring. 
So, um, I never did. I'm probably just going to increase the super attack with Elder Kai's, honestly. Um, if I do anything else, I'll probably do the agility one with those free-to-play units when I get the, when I actually get the motivation to do it when it comes out. But, um, really good, awesome unit. Highly recommend doing it. He will, do, he will link very well with this Goku, because remember, he has the first Awaken as well. That's another, that's just 25% attack buff flat out. Um, the Doken Awaken for Ultra Instinct Goku is here. Trans-Dimensional Instinct Goku Ultra Instinct Sign. Leader ability. Realm of Gods category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or intelligence type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So, um, he is a really good category leader. Realm of Gods has a lot of good units. I did a team building guide on that. Race's attack causes immense damage to the enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 100%, awaken when HP is 50% or below. Um, and we already talked about his link skills. He, gets, he gains fierce battle. Um, and when he awakens, he is just nuts, dude. Race attack, immense damage, key plus 3, attack plus 50%. Great chance to evade enemies' attack, including super attack, and he disables enemies' guard if you're going up against the physical unit. Um, link skills are Kamehameha, prepare for battle over in a flash. Yeah, actually, they, they all stay the same. Um, and that's about it, so that's really awesome. You know what I wonder? Um, since you guard against all types with, like, Janemba, does this disable enemies' guard disable Janemba's guard? Uh, and if so, does that mean... Well, I guess you still technically have type attribute advantage over him, but you just wouldn't guard anymore, right? So he would still have at least that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so he's really awesome, and he still links so well with that freaking uh, Strength Godku card. Highly recommend doing that. Um, last but not least, uh, actually, I should have probably put him before the Ultra Instinct and the Godkus. Uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, leader skill, all types key, plus 3, attack and defense plus 50, supreme damage to the enemy, attack and defense plus 90%, attack plus 50% in addition when facing two or more enemies. That kind of sucks, it's almost never going to happen. So you're getting attack and defense plus 90%. He gains fierce battle, he's part of Realm of Gods and Pure Saiyans. Overall, a uh, good unit. Uh, definitely an A-tier unit, but uh, you could do, you definitely will most likely run other units on a strength team. Uh, but overall, guys, these are all the cards that are here that are coming out. Two more days, can't wait. I will be definitely doing a grind fest for at least the uh, Kal and Khalif Ladoke and Awakens for, all super for the Super Attack 10 ones, for the free-to-play, and for the other units that I want to get Doken Awakened, like the Berserk Kale. Definitely want to get her Doken Awakened, and Khalif Le I I'm going to do that grind fest. I am. Uh, you, you, if you use the Universe Survival Saga category team, um, on well, that event too, but on this event, you get increased drops, so um, you you at least have that, and I already have my team set up because I'm grinding out the Ultra Instant Goku, so uh, yeah, but anyway guys, I'll keep you posted, I'll talk to you more, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments, let me know if I forgot about anything, but uh, anyway guys, thank you, I'll catch you later, you have a good one, peace.